So this past six months, we have uh, been working with nine engineering students on a new facade system uh, for BAM. And that facade system needed to be modular, circular, and uh, just to be really innovative. So that was our uh, main goal. This past half year, I've been working with mycelium. Well, mycelium is a material that are kind of the roots of most mushrooms. Uh, they can grow extensively long for like kilometers between uh, roots of trees. We've used them to uh, grow between wood chips and after dying them off they are like a solid block of, of wood chips that that's, that's hold together uh, with the mycelium. We're interested in using it as an insulation material to replace all those dirty and non-biodegradable uh, insulation materials that are used now, like rock wool and glass wool and pur. My project is a U-shaped assembly cell. Uh, you have a normal line production cell, which is for low volume and high variety. And we have a production uh, cell for high volume and high variety. The product uh, went all well. Uh, at the beginning, some startup issues with the teams and uh, the communication. But at the end, we have a good finalized base where all the projects can be made for. I think we did a great job for this uh, project. We had the presentation about uh, Parkinson, about uh, the modular system we created. We have a system made with uh, sensors and a hub who are connected with each other and can help Parkinson patients reduce their symptoms with it. I worked a lot of time uh, doing it the last half year. We know everything about Parkinson at this moment, so uh, it was an easy presentation. I worked last semester on the wind-driven project where we want to uh, drive with a wind-driven car in a, a race in August. We learned a lot about the wind-driven car. We did many calculations and simulations for the next group that's going to work on the project. They can use our information and uh, I'm yeah, proud of our uh, things we, uh, we delivered at the end of the project. We made an, uh, an infant life support simulator with a realistic uh, audiovisual feedback um, in which uh, medical students can see realistic feedback when they perform CPR. Today we were nominated to do our presentation at school and uh, we were a little bit nervous since it's online, you don't see the faces in real life, uh, but it uh, went uh, pretty well and we won the first prize uh, from the public. With our project we won the first prize with apps to activate people with sensors. Uh, it's good to see the hard work pays off. Yeah, how happy am I? Uh, I am happy, I guess. <laughs> I don't really know. It's, it's nice. It's uh, really nice to have. We have a, quite a good team with my David, like the guy next, standing next to me. I love doing the project with him and with the entire group. It was amazing, yeah. Yeah, we have received two prizes for the public and the jury prize. We both placed second. We feel really proud of it. <laughs>